The Rajiv Gandhi International Cricket Stadium Telugu, Rajiv Gandhi Antarjadiya Cricket Maidanam Urdu, Raj Gandhi International Kirk Asayam is the principal cricket stadium in Hyderabad, Telangana, India and is the home ground of the Hyderabad Cricket Association. It is located in Uppal, an eastern suburb of the city. It has a capacity of 45,000 and extends across 16 acres 65,000 square meters of land. The ends are named Pavilion End and North End. On the retirement of VVS Laxman, the HCA decided to honor the state hero by naming the North End after him. As of 19 October 2018 it has hosted five tests and five Otis. This stadium hosted the opener and final of 2017 Indian Premier League. History HCA's previous home ground was the Lal Bahadur Shastri Stadium in the Fateh Maidan Sports Complex at Bashirbah in central Hyderabad. The ground belonged to the Sports Authority of Telangana State and HCA had limited operating autonomy over this ground. Moreover, due to its smaller size, it soon came to be known as a high-scoring ground and so Hyderabad was not considered for many high-profile cricket matches in India. In 2003, the proposal for a new stadium was submitted by HCA to the government of erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, then headed by N. Chandrababu Naidu. The proposal was quickly cleared and HCA was allocated a budget for the same. The government also identified a large piece of land suitable for the project at Uppal. Most of the funding for the project came after an open auction of the stadium's title was held. Visaka Industries Limited won the auction with a bid price of 65 rupees 000 A sum of 43 rupees 000 was paid in advance and the stadium was named as Visaka International Cricket Stadium in 2004. By 2005 when most of the stadium was built, it was ready to host its first ODI match between India and South Africa. However, Y.S. Rajasakara Reddy the former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh decided to change the name of the stadium to Rajiv Gandhi International Cricket Stadium in memory of the former Prime Minister of India Rajiv Gandhi. Following this decision, HCA was required to pay Visaka Industries six times the contract price in accordance with the contract clauses governing any subsequent renaming of the stadium or the Visaka name not remaining attached to the stadium. HCA however, following some negotiations by GOVT, got away by paying an amount of 43 rupees, 000, i.e. the contract price only. Topic stats and records matches hosted test, 5 ODI, 5 T20I, 1. Topic records Bangladesh played their first ever test in India at this venue since they got their test status in 2000 when Bangladesh toured India in 2017 and played the first ever Ganguly Derjoy Trophy match. Topic ground capacity and factors The stadium extends across 16 acres and has a seating capacity of 45,000 spectators. The ends are Pavilion End and North End VVS. Laxman End. Floodlights are mounted on six towers to illuminate the stadium during day-night matches having been commissioned in April 2007. The wicket here is considered as a flat track, with a reputation of being a batsman-friendly and high-scoring pitch. <laughs> Sunrisers Hyderabad Sunrisers Hyderabad Telugu, San Rijars Hyderabad Urdu, SNSers Hyderabad is a cricket franchise based in Hyderabad by the IPL Governing Council. The team is owned by Kalanithi Moran of the Sun TV Network. Kane Williamson is the captain of the team. Tom Moody is the head coach and Simon Helmott is the assistant coach of the team. Chris Srikanth and VVS Laxman are the mentors of the team while Mudia Muralitharan was the bowling coach of the team. The team won 2016 IPL season. The team jersey was unveiled on 8 March 2013, and team anthem directed by G. V. Prakash Kumar was released on 12 March 2013. Their logo was unveiled on 20 December 2012, along with the announcement that the team's management would be led by Chris, Tom Moody and V. V. S. Laxman. The stadium suffered from a jinx of losing matches for the home team. Deccan Chargers lost all their matches in 2008 Indian Premier League. 
so the management had decided to change the dressing room position of the home team and also installed a sculpture of Lord Ganesha who is the god for success and the efforts of the management finally resulted in a win for India in the next match beating England with a margin of over a hundred runs. India won four out of five test matches hosted at this venue one drawn. It also turned the fortunes of Sunrisers Hyderabad with almost all wins at home. Test cricket It was the 101st venue for test matches in world cricket. Test matches records Style equals. Width, 50%, text align, left, vertical align, top. Topic: One Day International Cricket. Topic: Stadium records. Australia had scored 350 quarters. It is the highest score at the stadium. England had scored 174. It is the lowest score at the stadium. Yuvraj Singh's 233 scored in three matches as the most of runs scored at the stadium. Sachin Tendulkar's 175 is the highest individual score at the stadium. Sachin Tendulkar completed 17,000 ODI runs, made his 45th ODI century and received his 60th ODI Man of the Match award. 697 runs made for the loss of 14 wickets in one match. Topic: One Day International Records. Topic: 2020 International. The ground was scheduled to host its first ever 2020 International on the 13th of October 2017 against Australia. However, it was called off due to a wet outfield. 